Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Stank Weasel here with another regular dose of irregular content. We are now on January 14th, Thursday, with another beta branch build update. We've got some new features, new fixes, and some clarification on things, so buckle up, sit tight, and uh, hold on your ghost panties or whatever it is that we wear when we're playing the game. All right, so first off, for those of us who are the... I'm trying to think of the best word here. Supplier, the entrepreneurs of the game i don't know if you're the person who adds all the, the items in the menu first off thank you second off it's now much easier there's now a max quantity button a max item amount button so you don't have to spam click the items we don't have to sit there and go down the side of the screen anymore trying to add strong flashlights so that should be a lot easier a lot smoother quality of life on it's up um additionally changes so the ghost will now search closer to the last known player's location instead of searching far away when it has completely lost the player. So if you lose the ghost in an area during a hunt, go back to that area that you were kind of last interacting with it. We had this happen to us on Brownstone High School last night where the ghost was just kind of all over the place and it kept going to where it thought we were, but it wasn't really going to where we were. So either way, ghost hunting should be a little bit more efficient now and try and tease, taunt, and re- kind of acclimate your searches back to the area that you did have those interactions with the ghost. Improved how the ghost opens closet and locker doors. Again, those of us who were holding the door shut, we would just get snapped, the door was still shut. It's kind of weird. And that brings up the next point. The ghost will now open the closet and locker doors slightly further. So now you'll have a true indication as to what's going on as far as actually knowing the ghost interacted with your door, you just didn't die behind a door. Um, next, slightly increase the range that the equipment uh, candle will light. This will also fix issues where holding a candle would drop your sanity in some locations. So again, now we've finally got confirmation that the candle does prevent sanity drain. I know a few other videos that have been around on YouTube have discussed this. I know Psycho's covered it and he did a great job with that. Um, holding the candle or now placing it increases the range of light as opposed to just throwing it on the floor. And when you're in that light, it does prevent sanity drain. And I'll try and find a link to his video and toss it in the description down below because he does a great job of showing the numbers for people like me who want to just dig in and know exactly how does it work. Uh, lower the, the rate that the thermometer updates in the temperature from one or in, I'm sorry, let's try this again. English, take two, action. Lowered the rate the thermometer updates its temperature from one second to five seconds. I don't know if that's written forwards or backwards. I don't know if it went from five to one or one to five, but we'll have to do some testing to find out. But for what it's worth, if you're the person running the temp gun, give it some time, make sure that you actually get a visual tick update, and then you'll know if you're getting the proper reading for the area that you're in. Uh, remove the dirty water objective. It will still remain as extra photo evidence, similar to the bone and things, but no longer will you be cursed with that third objective of, is it gonna happen? When's it gonna happen? Did the ghost spawn near enough to a damn sink? <clears throat> so that's no longer an objective at the moment. So, you know, fingers crossed that we can actually start, you know, four and out. Identify the ghost, one, two, three, let's get the heck out. Um, increase the temperature variations that show on the thermometer. So I'm assuming it means that it went from five to one. And if that's the case, then we should have a more frequent kind of bounce in the uh, value being displayed on the screen, both for sense Celsius and Fahrenheit, not Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, and then the fixes. On school and prison, there were several lighting and performance issues with the last update. Those are now resolved. So frame rate should be better. Visual should be better. On Tanglewood, there were still some kitchen cabinet doors that you could use to glitch on top of the counter. That's been addressed. I'm not gonna talk about the under the stairs spot that still works though, because we abused that a little bit last night, taking funny photos of Marsha. Um, and then there was a bug where the lights would flicker on and off when the power was already off in the house. So for those of you who've been keeping up with the update videos here on the channel, you do know that the power breaker flips to off the second that you activate the map. So when you open that front door, bam, power goes out. Well, the lights would still flicker, it made no sense. And so it was either a false flag for you know, is it going to be a Yuri or something or, or an Oni or whatever? Um, or is there just some sort of faulty wiring and we need to get out because this is a fire hazard? Um, and then additionally, in the main menu, when you're out in that lobby area with the basketball hoop and all of the spray cans people throw around, the skybox was missing. So it looked really funny when we were looking out the windows and we were like, hey, that's the skeleton back half of one of the houses on one of the street maps. What is going on here? So when you look out the window now, you should actually see things that look like looking out of the window, not looking behind the Hollywood set. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, but that just dropped here a couple minutes ago. I'm trying to get this out as quick as possible to keep everybody up to date. Again, I'll leave a brief synopsis of how to enable the beta if you're not playing on that down in the description below. I'll leave a link to Psycho's video down below talking about the candles and how they work. But yeah, that's it. Um, 
Thanks again for all the support. We are a growing community that is just pushing forward, enjoying the heck out of this game. And uh, I invite you to subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you're excited about. Let me know what kind of bugs you've been coming across. And Stank Weasel out.